Hello, I'm Dr. P. Sen. I'm from uh, Delhi, Karolbagh. So, uh, on the occasion of World uh, Digestive Health Day 2023, I would like to pass some pearls of knowledge about one most important system of our body, the GI, the gastrointestinal tract, commonly known as digestive system or simply the gut. In line with the theme for this year, your digestive health, a healthy gut from the start. Let us talk about the importance of maintaining a healthy gut. Warm early life. Did you know that the world's 40% of the population suffers from problems of the digestive system and our infants and toddlers are the most affected among pediatric population? Now, gut health has become a hot topic in the recent years and the gut is now recognized as our second brain. There are trillions of bacteria and that live inside our gut. These bacteria play a key role in keeping children mentally and physically healthy and also reduce the risk of illness and disease. The famous Greek philosopher Hippocrates once said, all diseases begins in the gut. This is true in 70% of our body's immune system lies in the gut. That's why there is a, there is a, they say there's a uh, brain, there's a gut brain axis. Now they're saying that the gut is a very important uh, uh, factor to keep the gut healthy. It is very important to keep the gut healthy because that dictates how the brain would be in the later part of your life. So, the most commonly observed problems of the gut include constipation, hyperacidity, and diarrhea. Constipation affects about 30% of the children. Hyperacidity affects about 20 to 25% of the children, infants in India. And constipation is the most common cause of pain, uh, stomach pain in children and is often overlooked. Commonly observed symptoms of these conditions and of a poorly functioning gut include uncomfortable digestion, stomach aches, poor nutrient absorption, poor immunity and sleep, mood fluctuations and general fatigue and tiredness. All these can have a detrimental impact on the overall growth and well-being of the children. There are so many ways to boost the gut health and prevent your child from suffering from constipation, hyperacidity and diarrhea. They are namely, first you should, what you should do is breastfeed the infant as long as possible, mainly till two years of age. Include more fiber in the diet. Cut down on fatty foods. Opt for probiotics. Give your child small and frequent meals. Ensure adequate water intake and encourage your child to go out and play. Provide safe outdoor exposure and encourage regular activity. Avoid unnecessary use of antibiotics as these cause serious problems of child's gut. And finally, immediately consult a pediatrician on observing any symptoms of the digestive problem. So, dear parents, the World Digestive Health Day, on this World Digestive Health Day, let us pledge to invest in our child's gut health to improve their overall health in short term and set them up for good health later in life. Thank you.